Good evening and thank you for choosing ABC 6 News. I'm Connor Knuckles and that is our top story tonight. A bill to eliminate taxes on Social Security benefits in Minnesota is once again on the table after it didn't pass last session. ABC 6 News reporter Emily Pofall sat down with Republicans and DFLers about the bill and if session priorities have changed now that the DFL has total control over the legislature. A new report by the Minnesota Department of Revenue estimates that the average Social Security taxpayer would save around $1,200 a year if the Social Security tax was eliminated. But the state would lose around $600 million from its general fund. I did not have a job in Minnesota my entire working life, and now they want to tax my Social Security benefits. Phil and Roseanne Payome found a new home in Iowa after living in Rochester for 10 years. They've got family in both states and say choosing the one with no social security tax was a no-brainer. We know people who are still living in Minnesota where medicine and food are a huge concern. And that's the concern for Minnesota Republicans who've been trying to do away with the tax for years. Minnesotans are doing that calculation. What would retirement look like uh, if I moved to a state that didn't tax my uh, retirement income? The bill, authored by Rochester Senator Carla Nelson, almost made it to the finish line last session. Now, DFL lawmakers control the House, Senate, and Governor's office. Even with the $17.6 billion surplus, some are concerned that removing the tax means less money for things like education. Rochester Senator Liz Bolden would be voting on the bill should it get to the Senate floor. I think we should be using a targeted approach so that the, the folks we are helping the most are those in the middle income, lower income brackets. Senate Majority Leader Carrie Deedzik hinting that the bill won't have complete DFL support. Me personally, I'm on the record for having deep concerns about that. Now, the bill had its first hearing last week. It's got DFL and GOP authors. It will have its next hearing in the Senate Taxes Committee on Tuesday. In the newsroom, Emily Pofall, ABC 6 News.